so we discussed about the sexual reproduction in humans that is in our case so we studied the characteristics by which we can decide we can identify that we are able to produce the reproductive cells so once you confirm that you are able to produce reproductive cells then do you think you can reproduce you can produce babies so what is the time when you can start produce babies what are the various issues related to that during the phase of puberty adolescence your sexual secondary characters may develop your organs get ready to produce sexual cells reproductive cells it doesn't mean that you are totally ready to produce young ones you are not completely ready to reproduce babies because it is the initiation the starting phase of the reproductive system the development initially it produces the reproductive cells but the reproductive organs they are to be completely matured it needs some time and what are the other issues your mind also must be matured to produce young ones babies there is a difference between dogs and cats producing babies and humans producing babies because humans are social animals dogs and cats are not we have social responsibility if you are able to produce young ones or babies what are the social issues will you be able to raise them so these are the different issues that are to be decided discussed so it doesn't mean that by acquiring the ability of producing reproductive cells it doesn't mean that we are ready to reproduce so everyone needs some age for the complete maturation of the reproductive system for the complete mature of uh, maturation of their mind ideas thoughts decisions so then you are ready to reproduce so here there are many issues linked up there are many pressures sometimes there may be a force from your peer group your friends your neighbors and sometimes uh, you may be forced to participate in sexual acts but you need to know various factors that are linked up with that having a sexual act or to uh, have an attempt to reproduce so you need to aware of all these things before you make an attempt to reproduce or make, before you make a make to have a sexual intercourse so these are very essential you may be observing even some governments okay some people are achieved their sexual maturity mental maturity they got some age of some 24 25 years of age they got some good jobs employment so they have earnings even though they produce the babies they can raise them even then such cases also the government make some announcements don't give birth to many babies limit your children to one or two why government make such statements there is pressure from the government the government order all the doctors to make uh, family planning operations to control the population such so it shows that humans are the social animals if we bring the new population into the society we should be able to provide all the immunities to the people who are coming the population the generations which are coming so we have social responsibility we all have to look about the social conscious social elements also as we are a social animal so simply by attaining sexual maturity we cannot reproduce and produce the babies as like other animals moreover there are many issues linked up with the other issues linked up with the reproduction the second most important part here is stds sexually transmitted <coughs> diseases sexually transmitted diseases means there are so many diseases which transmit by having a sexual intercourse so if you have an attempt of having a sexual intercourse with a stranger you don't know about the person in such case some diseases may pass from the person syphilis gonorrhea warts most importantly hiv these are transmitted by sexual contact so if you have unprotected sex with the people with the strangers you don't know of course anyway if even even though you know the person for few days you don't know what is his health status health condition 
you don't know how much infections he has in, in his blood he might be infected with hiv he might be infected with some other syphilis or gonorrhea surely that infection transmits so these are cureless diseases life threatening diseases so in the expectation of some pleasure or fun if you attempt such sexual intercourse with somebody there if you attempt an unprotected sex you will be the victim of these kind of diseases so it is is a very serious issue which should be properly judged or thinking should be done without any thinking by the force of your friends or somebody else's if you do that there you will be in a very big problem so sexually transmitted diseases are the major problem here by having unprotected sex here to avoid this is there any prevention yes here the preventive measures are using physical barriers like condoms it is a physical barrier which is worn on the penis so by that the fluids in the male and female body are not in contact so there is no transmission of virus it can give you protection so in this way prevention of these sexually transmitted diseases can be done by using the physical barriers like condoms and the next thing birth control so if you attempt for a sexual act sexual intercourse with other gender that means if you participate in a sexual act with another person there is a chance of pregnancy before we discuss that the male gamet fuses with female gamet so there is a chance of pregnancy pregnancy sometimes this pregnancy is unwanted unwanted when it is unwanted the married couple the couple who are married they don't want children then they don't want this pregnancy so this is unwanted and even the two strangers who participate in sexual intercourse pregnancy is unwanted and already we discussed that with an immature reproductive system a female child gets the pregnancy it affects her body her mental status everything adversely it badly affects her body both physically and mentally when she attains pregnancy in an unmatured state so to avoid that unwanted pregnancy we can use contraceptives contraceptives so there are methods by which we can avoid pregnancy to avoid pregnancy methods are using hormone pills tablets or drugs so these tablets or the pills it will control the maturation or fertilization of the egg with the sperm so these pills are to be taken orally definitely they have so many side effects and spoil our body so this is a prevention method it doesn't show that yes you can do whatever you like by using this because taking chemicals or drugs into our body surely they will have side effect on our body it just indicates that yes there is a prevention it shows it doesn't mean that you have all the options and you can commit whatever you like it it doesn't mean that right so pills and physical barriers like condoms see the condoms they are they prevent sexually transmitted diseases sometimes as well as the pregnancy also so pregnancy is also avoided by wearing the condoms so they assure you the protection from being pregnant at the same time from the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases but here one more point the usage of this pills and the usage of this condoms also must be known if not there may be a problem still exist so these contraceptives also fail sometimes the pills if they are not taken in a proper way they may fail and i already told you there will be some side effects if the barriers are also not used properly they may fail they are made out of some material called as latex they may tear in such cases also there is a chance of infection so that 
is the second thing and uh, there are some physical barriers like loops copper t copper t copper t means it is a physical barrier which is fixed in the uterus of the female so we cannot uh, think any of these methods are excellent and extraordinary and problemless methods there is a problem associated with each and every method here we discussed here but these are the options so copper t means they will place a barrier in the uterus which will prevent the fertilization of sperm and egg cell but it will cause irritation and infections in the uterus of females and the other method most widely used for the married couples is that loops once they have children one children or two children they wanted to go for family planning that means they don't want any more children in such cases their reproductive uh, tubes we have seen that their vast difference in males so the vast difference they will cut and they will tie a loop so by the sperm cells which are formed the sperm cells they cannot pass into the female reproductive system so the ducts which carry the cells are cut and looped this is done by a minor surgery this is a less problematic one if it is done in males you call it as vasectomy in females if the fallopian tubule is cut and it is tied it is called as tubectomy in females and in males it is called as vasectomy so by this method surgical methods we can avoid pregnancy so avoidance of pregnancy is mostly used and accepted in case of when they go for family planning so it is accepted in case of family planning they have children they don't want any more children or the couple the married couple they haven't planned yet their life so they need some time for the pregnancy in such cases that is used so these are the various options for the birth control and next thing sex determination sex determination means finding out whether the baby is male or female before the baby is born so the technology enable us to scan to know what how the internal parts are there so whether the doctors are able to know whether the baby is male or female but once this is known out some of the people those who have bad intention in their mind bad ideas about the male and female genders those who have discrimination in their minds once if they come to know that the baby which is growing inside the mother womb is a female they are attempting abortions killing of the fetus it is called as feticide female feticides many of the female children are killed like that in the past 10 years so by the female population has gradually gone down the males are more in society compared to females which is causing a very big problem now it is because of the bad assumption that female children are a burden to the parents so that was a very wrong and faulty assumption by the people so this discrimination led to the female feticides so that is the reason why the government has banned sex determination doctor should not tell the whether the baby is male or female to the patient if they do so that is a crime the doctor will be arrested and the people who attempted that they also will be arrested against law it is to control or prevent the female feticide so when the fetus is growing up when the embryo is formed that also can be removed by a process called as by a surgical process called as abortion sometimes when an unwanted pregnancy is done the pregnancy is initiated if it has to be removed that is done by abortion that is a surgical method but whatever the methods here we discussed here that is for the birth control that can be followed by the people those who have started their life as a couple getting married and started their life as a couple then as a part of their life with all the other social issues they can take the choices but as an individual as an immature person to make use of these things you must be completely aware of each and every consequence not only technical not only health related you should be able to know the social consequences also before you commit any act so that is very important so the next one is overpopulation so by the process of reproduction the population increases so why this process is there in the living organisms in the humans why the living organisms should re reproduce there is a lot of population many people many uh, socialists say that 
the overpopulation is the main reason for all the problems now the population is growing up on the planet that is the main problem for uh, all these things all the people are not able to get the basic amenities and no one is uh, all the people are not able to live comfortably but in the view of science you say that okay yes reproduction is a natural ability of the organism every organism wanted to perpetuate its race see in your family your grandfather grandmother they wanted to continue their race they wanted to continue their vamsam in the same way every species every animal wanted to continue its species tiger wanted to continue its species humans wanted to continue their species develop their species it is a part you can see the other social aspect also the overpopulation may not be a problem if there is no discrimination high and low if there is no distribution of uh, indiscriminate distribution of money circulation of money between the people higher social status low so social status so very various issues so whatever it may be so the overpopulation is also a problem it is identified that can be controlled by birth control methods that is suggested by the government so by that the government also able to produce basic amenities and all the things to the people and even the people also must have the social responsibility social idea social consciousness health consciousness everything all these aspects in mind before they commit the reproduction or they commit the sexual intercourse or whatever so